Hello, everyone, and welcome to Flipgrid for all the celebrations. Hello, hi, hey, hello, everyone. My name is Adam Parker Goldberg. I am at Adam Short Shorts on the Twitter, uh, and I'm joined today by more people than we have even said. So get excited. Um, we'll do a quick. Uh, this is I think I get from Jordan or Jess or Ann, who we'll meet in a few seconds, but a r r r roll call. Um, and so first up to bat. All the way from New Orleans, her name is Jordan Armand. She is the savvy educator. Hey, hey welcome, <laughs> Jordan. All right, come in. She is from across the country. And, well, nope. I've already I've already messed up the words. She she is currently cross country from her hometown ish. She'll elaborate. Her name is Ann Cosma. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and, and do you want to elaborate on what I mean? <laughs> I live in California, coming to you live from my home away from home, Miami, where I am in the meanwhile. Were you Miami? Yeah. I, that didn't work. All right, whatever. Okay, but also joining Anne in Florida, but from her own respective home. And look at these fun, 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 fun backgrounds. Her name is Jess Boys. Hey. Joining uh, you from Tampa, Florida, other side from Anne, but still in Florida. <laughs> lovely. Okay, and of course, joining me in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I'm in Minneapolis. I'm here. I'm here at the office. Um, it's a little roasty, toasty. So if you see some sweat, um, it's excitement and love. Uh, but it's also it's a little roasty, toasty. Um, but still in the <laughs> office. And joining me from his home in Minneapolis, Minnesota, the great pal George. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Rick, bro. Oh, so happy to be here. Check out my phone decoration. This is an air duct up there. Uh, hey, it's a fun homage to Jordan's history. He is a former HVAC engineer. And you know what they say once an HVAC engineer, always an HVAC engineer. Yeah, I'm still an HVAC enthusiast. It's, it's, it's from the heart. Yeah. Well, brilliant. And so long as you keep up on your continued learning. <laughs> yeah. So a little qualification. I need an engineer to help me with this part of my screen. It's just like don't be don't be confused by the person behind the curtain. Uh, and if we do this, then we're all good. That's a better view. Thank you. Let's, let's get out. We have we have so many fun things. So, so much to do. Thank you all for for joining us today. Here's what here's what's in store. You're at the Flipgrid for all the celebrations broadcast, and this is such an Ann Cosma phrase. It's brilliant because for Ann, everything is all the everything all the feels, all the love, all the celebrations. And so that's what we're gonna be talking about today. And specifically, um, we have this fun topic spinner that we'll show you in a little bit. But before we get to all that, there's just a few things we wanna go through. And then as I mentioned, we have some special guests on the broadcast today. Um, so so let's, let's rock and roll, shall we? Yeah, we shall. Once again, thank you all so much. Um, we, we, love, we love starting this presentation every presentation we do um, with this slide because we want you to know we so, so, so appreciate you um, and there are not enough words for us to express our gratitude um, all the time and especially now and especially given that it's Educator Appreciation Month. So happy Educator Appreciation Month and thank you for everything you do to, to connect your communities and empower and amplify your scholars and all of that, all, all the things. Um, Jornay, on that note, will you tell us a little bit about our mission. Yes, absolutely. So our mission at Flipgrid is to empower every learner on the planet to share their voice and to respect the diverse voices of others. And we truly believe that with this, we are building global empathy and we are so happy to have you on this mission with us. Without you, it's not possible. So thank you for all that you do. Okay, awesome. And so thank you. Yes, yes, yes. And with that in mind, we have some crewmates who we want to formally introduce you all to the community, to this larger Flipgrid community who are joining us. And when I say us, I don't just mean us five that you're looking at right now, nor us 40-ish plus, plus now on the Flipgrid team, but all of us, because really, um, as Jornay stressed, our mission is your mission and our mission is only possible because of your amazing work. And so joining the Flipgrid team, and I have to kick off myself and George so that we can see everyone. <laughs> Um, okay. So, George, we will see you again soon. Uh, but, Jess, Anne, and Jornay, will you introduce our first guest? Or not our guest, our first team member. My apologies. <laughs> first <laughs> the broadcast. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving before I say something else. 
<laughs> all right. So our first new team member that we are so excited to welcome and for you all to meet is Somesh. Hey! hey. Welcome, friend. Uh, welcome, welcome. Hey, welcome. hey, we already have your, your social you. handle on the screen, but tell us who you hey, are. So tell us about yourself. We can't wait for everybody yeah. to meet you. Exactly. So, hey guys, my name is Somish and I'm an iOS engineer in the team here at Flipgrid. So, I get to help on the iOS app that we make and I'm currently cooking in a lot of new features for the Flipgrid that you guys will be able to see in the next couple of months. I'm super excited and thank you. Thank you so much, everyone, for all that you do. All the learners and educators out there, we are so proud on each and every one of you. Oh my gosh, Somesh, I'm so excited because I know this is this is what you're building and you're working on some super epic new things to be revealed. Be <laughs> excited, everyone. He's working on some cool stuff. We're so glad to have you, Samesh, and thank you for all you're doing thank on you. the iOS team. And it's so nice for our community to meet you. All right. So we have another teammate coming up. Oh, oh my God. gosh. We're super excited to hear. Comes Megan, everybody. Hey, Megan. Hey. Hi. Megan, tell us a little bit about yourself. And fun fact to everybody watching, today's the first time we've met Megan, too, and we're so <laughs> excited. We're so excited to welcome her to Team Flipgrid also. So, Megan, tell us about yourself. Thank you. Yep, my name is Megan Buzzes. I'm joining Team Flipgrid as a program manager on the experiences team. So I'm just super excited to come on and support the Flipgrid community. Oh That's yeah. So cool. We are so happy that you're here, Megan. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. One of the really special things I know that you get to do is help people not only have a positive, fun, simple, engaged experience, but you're also there to support folks uh, when they need support. So we're so excited to welcome you and, and let our community say hey to you as well. So friends who are on social, you can check out Megan's um, Twitter handle that's on screen, get connected. So yeah. this was displayed Megan's, but Megan, we're so glad to connect with you and officially want to say a welcome to Team Flipgrid. Welcome, Megan. And I'm up next is our friend Chris. Hey! Yay! Now, Chris is now on the engagement team with us, so you will probably see us somewhere together, guys. Chris, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm so excited to join the engagement team. They're such a fun group, and I can't wait to be a big part of it. Um, I have been working for Flipgrid for about five hours right now. <laughs> And uh, I'm so excited. I come from uh, different organizations that have been supporting educators, and I can't wait to get to know this community better. It's wonderful and massive, and I've been following along for years, and so I am just so excited to be a part of it. And I can't wait to hear all the ideas around celebration as well. Chris, oh, yeah. five, five hours, and we're having an epic party to help <laughs> welcome you to the team, but help you or have you help us celebrate this incredible community and we know community means so much to you so we're so excited that you are on the engagement team and we get to share showcase and celebrate all of you in the most incredible ways we're so thankful for for this community and chris we're so thankful that you're joining the team now i'm so excited to be here all right so his handle is on screen to get connected and just so take next minute. i have a new partner in crime ready Ooh, yes. <laughs> all right. I'm just going to be super respectful because I really want to learn about all of the things that we're going to celebrate today, too. So I'm Jessica Ostro. I'm new on our leadership team for Flipgrid. I've been here about a week and a half, and I am so excited to learn about all the creative ways that all of you are using Flipgrid with your learners. And to me, it's incredibly inspirational. So keep coming up with those stories. Keep helping us learn. And like, let's go get to it. Oh my gosh, Jessica, we're so excited to welcome you to our leadership team and just all of the things that you do, not only at Microsoft, but now on Team Flipgrid to help and support us. So welcome to the team. Her social handle is on screen too. Get connected because you all know we are better together. And with that, the thunder is rolling in in Miami. So if you hear a big bang, it's a thunderstorm is coming in, but we're going to roll with this. So, so let's go. I'm ready. <laughs> so let's. 
let us roll. We're dealing with all the storms, but the biggest storm is the storm, the storm of celebration. And so, I, I don't know, that was a poor metaphor. Um, so as we continue and as we get into the broadcast, there's just a few other resources we wanna share. Um, and the other thing I wanna note now, in case I forget to mention in the future, on this broadcast still, is that hello from the future, the recording of this will be in, uh, made, oh my goodness, available <laughs> immediately upon finishing the broadcast. So you'll be able to watch right away. You can rewind. Um, but we're also going to email the links that will go over throughout the broadcast. So jot down if you get a chance, but if you miss a link, you can rewind and get the link or just look out on the email. Um, probably shortly after, after the webinar and then after the Twitter chat, we'll send out that email. But what is going on? You know, we just shared all the Twitter handles. We're all over the Twitter and we cordially invite you to join the Twitter chat right after this chat. And Jornay, do you want to share a little bit of more for who has not joined a Twitter chat in the past? Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Twitter chat is a celebration, too, because this is where educators come together and share their best ideas. Talk about maybe practices that are happening in the classroom. Um, but basically, it is that time that we can just all come together as a community. So we invite you there today and also on June 9th. Um, it's very short. It's only 30 minutes rapid fire ideas. Um, if you want to join today, you can actually go to our blog page and actually get the questions ahead of time if you want to prep. Um, but anyway, come hang out with us and we can't wait to learn from you. Beautiful. In addition to Twitter, you know you can find your Flipgrid friends on the Instagram and behind the celebration of Instagram with Flipgrid. I don't, I don't know. We're gonna, I, I'm gonna keep trying to sneak the word celebration in. Um, not so sneaky though. Anyway, and Cosma, tell us what can happen on Instagram. Yeah, so friends, this is a a celebration and that celebration happens in lots of places across social media. So if you're not yet connected on the Flipgrid Instagram, definitely check it out. We love seeing what you post. We love to add it to our story. We share resources and as as I just said, we celebrate. So get connected on Flipgrid at, at Flipgrid on Insta to share, celebrate and showcase all things related to student voice. Lovely. And last but not least, the Facebook. And I say last but not least, but this is just the first four of many. So <laughs> essentially, we're all over the place. Um, so if you're looking for Flipgrid, look for Flipgrid. I, I don't know what I don't know how to elaborate, but we are here to help. And so I, I guess what I'm trying to say is, in addition to these four resources, um, reach out to us anytime. And I think actually, is that the next slide? Yes, it is. So in addition to social media, you can join um, all, all of us on Saturday mornings, but also throughout the week, Jornay, Jess, and Anne. Jess, tell us about what's Flipgrid PD. What can you expect? Yeah, so we do uh, live webinars three to four times a week and it's just explaining how to get started with Flipgrid. So how to set up a grid, how to share your uh, share the codes and share your students' voices. So we definitely encourage you to hop in and get started with us. It's a great place to send maybe your colleagues that are new learning about Flipgrid as well. And then on Saturdays, we host a Saturday party on, on YouTube Live. Yes, yes, yes. And so on that note, note that we're going to show a little bit of the Flipgrid um, educator dashboard today. But if you're new to Flipgrid or if you're just getting started with Flipgrid, um, this Flipgrid onboarding uh, is a much more comprehensive how to get started, what each button does um, in getting started. But we'll cover a little bit of that today. But if you have any more questions, hop on over to the PD. And then help.flipgrid.com. Kim, <laughs> and do you want to tell us what happens on help.flipgrid.com? One of my favorite resources to share. If you are looking for a meaningful bite-sized resources for all of those frequently asked questions. Shout out to our incredible team back in Minneapolis who are creating all of these like seriously incredible resources you can find at help.flipgrid.com. It's a great one-stop shop for everything you could possibly need to know. Um, if you want to check it out, help.flipgrid.com. Beautiful. And then actually, I oh, Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm being surprised by the celebrations. The celebration <laughs> continues this Friday evening with our friends at Kahoot and Adobe. Um, it's EdTech Trivia Night. And if you read the long description, essentially what we're saying is EdTech Trivia Night, but just a focus on the EdTech community. So all of you, all of us, 
the better together community. We're not going to be talking about, you know, education and pedagogy. There might be a couple sneaky teacher questions in there that you'll know, but the whole gang is invited. So invite your friends, invite your family. It's family fun questions um, hosted by the Nicholas Provenzo. And you know how to pronounce, can you pronounce this place? Nicholas Provenzano, AKA the nerdy teacher on social. Yes. So fun times ahead um, this Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern time, 7 central, 6 p.m. Mountain time, 5 p.m. Oh my gosh, what's that time zone called? You know the time zones. Um, and then global, I'm, I'm not even going to try to keep going with the time zones. Head over to, to register. We'll share the link at the end, but it's aka.ms forward slash edtech trivia. Um, and once again, we'll share that at the end. But we invite you to join us all Friday, Anne. Hey, the party is already starting in the comments. Our good friend Amy DeFreeze is saying, we're using Flipgrid to help send off our retiring teachers. So these ideas, they're coming. Get ready. We're going to share some epic ideas, but definitely connect on Friday night for EdTech Trivia Night. I love the comments that are going on. Throughout this whole chat, like, drop your ideas. Keep dropping them in, and we'll keep an eye out on the chat oh, as, yeah. best we, as best we can. Um, but speaking of celebrations, I'm going to bring back the grid pal George because he has been helping with this next initiative. So George, tell us what's going on with this. Yeah, I'm super excited. So Flickr is getting to essentially amplify these Special Olympic athletes happening on May 30th. And what's really awesome is that we actually have this grid right here that is going to pop up. And this is for us to be able to cheer on those athletes as they kind of go into this Xbox virtual event. Uh, so it was super cool. They're going to be competing in the Forza. Um, but there's people like the Flipper teams are on there. If you know the big shows on there, uh, NASCAR drivers, uh, just show your support to these amazing athletes as they kind of really kind of gear up uh, and compete this next uh, May 30th. Fun, fun, fun. All yeah, right. Go in for that grid and just, you can give a virtual high five to all of the, the participants that are in the Special Olympics event. So it's just a really special thing to go in and share your support. Yes. Yes. All right. And with that, huzzah. Hey, hey, hey. Now on to your scheduled program, I think, is what we would say. Um, or what we just said. So there you go. Um, okay, what's up, George? Yeah, yeah. We're going to celebrate you, but I'm also going to dismiss you from the stream now. So thank oh, okay. you. We'll bring you back at the end. You brought me in. Okay, okay, got it. cool. Hi, George. <laughs> thank you, George. Hey, Have a great show. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, Flipgrid for all the celebrations. Here's what's going on. Well, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Why don't you three each introduce yourselves per the slide deck we kind of have put together, but then I will explain the structure, what we can expect. Awesome. Well, for those of you who are just tuning in, we're so excited that you're here. My name is Anne Cosma. I'm one of the educator innovation leads on Team Flipgrid, former first grade teacher, former K-8 innovation TOSA, and teacher helping teachers. So I'm excited to share, celebrate, and showcase all the things, all the Flipgrid for all the things with you today. Hey, everybody. I'm Jess. So I am a former middle school math teacher. And just as Anne talked about, I am so excited just to share ideas that we've seen. But off, I'm watching all these comments happening. And there's so many great ideas just going, going, going. So it's just a wonderful time to be here together and just celebrate all the celebrations. Hey, friends. I am Jornae Armand. Um, I am also an elementary based ed educator, um, was an administrator and instructional technology specialist, and I have a love for coaching and mentor coaches. Um, and so I'm so happy to hear that you guys are here today with us. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to myself and or Jess. We are really teachers helping teachers, and we are here for you. Lovely. Okay. Now here's the excitement. I was so excited for this because this was like a little brain thing, as Anne would call, um, of how we could structure today's um, celebration. And so what we have is this Flipgrid for All topic spinner, and we are going to spin the spinner, see if any ideas pop up, and then dive in and explore and discuss. So keep the comments coming. We'll stay on the lookout. Uh, and with that, Anne Destroner, are you ready to spin? Spin so ready. Yeah, spin oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right. So it looks like we're going to be starting off with the idea of decision day from Monica Gonzalez. We saw this epic 
tweet that she put out that said, it's decision day and her gladiator seniors graduating from her high school were making their commitments for colleges and that next step in their journey. And this tweet just was this epic, as Adam mentioned, brain zing, brain zing for how to celebrate decision day and that that big epic transition from high school into college or university and beyond. So let's let's talk about this. I wonder I wonder how we could find out a little bit more. Hey everyone, we are so glad to be joined by Monica Gonzalez, high school English teacher, who took the idea of Decision Day and made it digital. So Monica, thank you for being here with us and we would love to hear more about your idea for Decision Day. Well, Jornay and to the whole Flipgrid team, thank you for having me. I, I usually, my, my class is a Cambridge literature course. So at the end of the year, we're really like hard test prepping, but I also always prioritize college prep. So my students are looking at things like how their, their courses are going to transfer, like for the classes that they pass the exams. And we do like a college uh, cookbook and we do like a little budgeting activity and we always celebrate decision day. So this year, our digital learning was not going to stop that. And what better way than for them to record themselves, which of course they love, they're big like TikTok fans. So they make these creative videos. And then how can I share them? through Flipgrid and then they share with one another, of course with me, I can share with my colleagues and administrators and friends from other schools. And then of course they can share with their family. And I mean, the, it's, it, there are no bounds to the announcements that they're so excited to, you know, to share, especially now when they feel like they don't have as much of a celebration as they were really anticipating. Yeah, and you just, you just hit the nail on the head having to shift the way you celebrate this. And these are milestone moments for graduating seniors and for folks who are at the culminating days of their high school career. So we saw this tweet and we were so inspired by it because it was this awesome, you, you hashtagged it, college bound decision day, celebrating your students. So we're curious, why, why did you do it on Flipgrid? Well, we use Flipgrid often. So interestingly, most of the time, and I, I don't know if it's a stereotype or a generalization, but one doesn't think of literature and technology. So that's one way I've been teaching for 16 years, but my pedagogy has evolved over, I would say at least the past eight years, you know, five for sure, um, into infusing a lot of technology, which has been really helpful, but of course it engages the students even more. So Flipgrid is showcasing their creativity it's in a way that they get to be in the spotlight. And even some of my shyest students will come out of their shelves and showcase themselves in ways that I never would see in the classroom until I started using Flipgrid. Oh, I absolutely love that. And so Monica, as your pedagogy is shifting over time and as you're incorporating more technology and as we're completely digital at the moment, uh, was there anything about this, about this project, about the, your decision day grid that surprised you? Um, well, honestly, it was being DM'd, so I got a message from Anne, and it says, oh, we're excited to see that you're using Flipgrid in the class to, to celebrate Decision Day, and I didn't even know what a DM was until a couple of months ago, but <laughs> it taught me. So, I mean, that, we are always learning as educators, and we have to be able to learn from our students just like we want them to learn from us. So in trying to meet them with what they enjoy and what's engaging, it's really strengthened my teaching, but it's, it's a different form of assessment as well. So this one was informal. It's their college decision, you know, decision day. So um, I guess really there weren't any other, like in terms of the assignment itself, I wasn't surprised, but more about how we can connect beyond my group of 114 students. That's amazing. Yeah. And well, the connection beyond this tweet sort of got a lot of traction and it rippled out. And I know it was an incredible idea that you shared that hopefully sparked celebrations and the ideas of how you can celebrate, I mean, with communities in so many special ways. So we just want to say thank you so much for sharing your idea and celebrating your incredible seniors and their decision day. So to the class of 2020, you inspire us. And Monica, you inspire us too. Thank you so much for sharing this. 
Oh my gosh, I love that. I love that. And I'm just like adding comments on Facebook right now, seeing so many people share incredible things. Yeah. When when those big milestone moments were essentially removed for seniors and folks promoting to new grades, what an incredible alternative to keep that celebration going and give seniors this space to celebrate decision day, even if it was a little different than when than what they were expecting. So I love this idea. Brilliant. I, so Adam, bad. Adam, can you yeah. pop up a comment from Ramesh came through that was a really mm -hmm. awesome idea, if you can find it in the thread. Um, <laughs> It would be great to partner high school with the colleges that are that they're going to enter via the decision day grades. And I think that that is such a brilliant idea. Yeah. I really love that thought of having them connect with each other. Yes, yes. Um, should I, do we want to poke around in the Flipgrid admin or should we keep, should we spin again? What, what do we think? I mean, we have, we have time, I think, to poke around for just a few minutes to talk about how we could set something like this up. But I know I'm excited to spin that wheel again, but let's go real quick into the environment if you have it queued up. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so folks, what Adam is going to show, and when we do a webinar or professional development, we do take a, a, a slower, deeper dive into how to set up a grid and how to set up a comment. But um, Jess Jornay and I are just going to kind of hop around and, and ping pong right here um, as Adam talks about how you could set up something like this for your own community. Yeah, so I mean, what you would start to do if you don't already have, uh, you could do this certainly with your classroom grid, but if you wanted to set up a school-wide graduation grid, what you would do is just create your grid. Um, what, what was it, the gladiators? That's gonna test my spelling. Uh, <laughs> gladiators, yep. oh gosh, is that right? Yeah. Lovely, <laughs> hey, banner day. All right, so we'll set up our grid. Um, they're the gladiators, you'll see the flip code here, but since the special occasion, I'm gonna make it um, graduation, let's see if that's even, nope, so graduation gladiators, how about? So this will be my grid, it's auto-populated by school email domain. Um, I might have another email domain for my students that I wanna include. Uh, it's well. And so then where the kind of magic happens is actually gonna be in the topic creation. So um, for this particular topic, it was just share share your decision day or how would, and just Renee, how would you phrase, let's talk about yeah, so like, what you could do. You could talk about you're in this moment of transitioning. We want to celebrate the decision that you've made for the next step of your academic or learning journey. Share what you could, what could be a share, what college you're accepting, uh, what your next step after graduation is. So when you create a topic, it can be as simple or as sophisticated as you want it to be. Um, yeah, you're you're in this moment and set up the appropriate video response length. And, and Adam, I bet you could pop in a quick emoji too, or, or if you wanted to, but friends, give it a title, choose a video response length, give it a quick prompt and Create your topic, it's that simple. Hey, hey, time to celebrate, share it with your community. And that's how you could set up a grid to celebrate your own decision day too. Lovely, lovely. All right, shall we spin? Let's spin again. Spin again. Spin that wheel. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. It's been so fast, I missed the spin. <laughs> Kathy mentioned this in the comments that the student voice games were, were happening. So yeah, Kathy, you're right. Uh, we saw this incredible tweet from our dear friend, Lanny Watkins over in Wales, talking about the student voice games, the Olympics coming to Flipgrid. And it started last uh, Monday actually, and just all sorts of different fun games for students to, to compete. So let's Hey, see. hey, hey, we are talking with the one and only incredible Lanny Watkins from Wales. He's a Microsoft Innovative Educator Expert, a student voice ambassador, and won the Amplify Award at Flipgrid Live in 2019. But it's our good friend from Wales who's super passionate about amplifying student voice. And Lanny, we saw this epic tweet you put out about the student voice games, you know, this alternative to the Olympics. And we wanted to ask, like, why? What was the idea behind this? And get us started on what was going on inside your brain. 
Uh, I don't know what was going on inside my brain, but it was something. It's something I started thinking about not long after after Flipgrid right, uh, Live last year. Um, but with loads of things happening, it sat in the shelf. And then when lockdown started, it was like, what a perfect time. Uh, the Olympics have been cancelled, but let's bring it to Flipgrid and let's get like families involved at home and it provides a distraction to everything that's going on that families can have fun. And the parents have an opportunity to get to know the... Uh, get no flip grid that the children have been using in school oh that's a super fun way to celebrate community in such a creative way <laughs> yeah. so with that being said why flip grid for the student voice games oh it's the it's the perfect tool it's um flip grid is all about community and it's about bringing people together and it's about uniting a world and that's what it allows us to do and people can have fun on it parents can use it recording our children because again it's so so easy to use and um it's i and i love it that's it i love it i'm, I'm not going to say anymore i <laughs> love it <laughs> well um lanny what has been i know that they just got started but up to this point what has been surprising for you or what do you expect to learn from from the student voice game Wow, it's, I, I can't believe that we've already had uh, over 30 schools uh, sign up to it. And even now, as I'm talking to you, I'm having DMs to say, can I still sign up to this? Oh. Uh, every single continent has got at least one school representing oh. that continent. Um, and I've had a message from the wonderful Barry Mock saying the videos are already starting to stream in and you need to check them out. So that's what I'm going to be doing later on today, as well as getting my whole family doing it. It's just been amazing, the uptake straight away. That's so cool. Well, we know they're getting kicked off today and it's going to be so fun to watch this grow. But you always have epic ideas that start in Wales, in your heart and spread out to the world. So we just want to say thank you for being amazing you and sharing awesome ways to empower every voice. Lanny, we think you rock and we're so excited to have a moment to talk to you. Oh, I love it. I love it. Cool. Adam, you've already participated. Dornay, you've already participated. I know Jess and I are getting in on the student student voice games this week. Adam did a minute worth of jumping jacks. Dornay's daughters kicked it off with an anthem from, from our national anthem. But what an incredible way to celebrate student voice around the world. Amazing, amazing. So should we talk about really quickly, um, I'll, I'll show the screen. We don't have to go back in and talk about everything, but just how could you go about setting something up like this? You have multiple schools, you have multiple challenges. What's the process? So let's check out the grid we already created that was called Gladiator. So let's just pretend that we're changing this now to our student voice games. And we have people from all over joining. So what we would wanna do is make sure that our grid is accessible to as many people as possible. And we have something called grid types. And so you'll notice that you can always edit your grid type right inside of Flipgrid. And you can actually add in multiple email domains um, if you want more schools or um, organizations to access your grid. So as you can see right here, Adam is adding in a bunch of different um, email domain so that people can join in that awesome grid. And then you just create your mini topics. And so in this wonderful grid that Lanny has created, um, he has topics for all sorts of fun things. So whether it's the jumping jacks that Adam did, or maybe it's a, a ball throw, or um, maybe students are doing an egg race. There's so many different ideas that um, are happening in the student voice game that you can add as many topics as you need. And the great thing about Flipgrid, guys, is that you have access to how many, Anna Jess? Unlimited! Unlimited, Unlimited topics. So really, the power is in your hand. I love it. Brilliant. I love it. Oh my gosh, what a great idea. So shout out to Lenny. The idea is really truly start in his heart and just kind of spread around the world. <laughs> Sorry for trying to interrupt you, Anne. I saw you, um, Adam, if you could put that tweet back up. I saw some people asking for um, how to see what the example of this looks like. If you all go to Lanny's Twitter, you can see at Lanny underscore Watkins. He has um, how to register and get set up doing the student voice game. So if you still want to participate, there's still time. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So cool. Shall we spin the spin spinner? That wheel. Spin that wheel. Oh, yeah. 
All right. So we're going to talk about Ed Camp. And as educators, you guys know how important professional development is. Anne has an awesome book that's featuring our friend Nicole Taylor from Texas. And let's hear what she has to say about Ed Camps. Hey, Nicole, we are so glad to have you on. We saw your awesome tweet about Ed Camps, and we all know we've been following you for a long time. You are queen of Ed Camps. And I think Anne even has a book. Um, queen of yep. Ed Camps for sure. Nicole even writes about Ed Camps in this awesome book called Get Together. And I love this quote where she says, everything I am has come from someone else investing in me. And that's such a beautiful way to talk about a better together mindset. Nicole, we're so excited to be talking with you. Yes. Yeah, so since, you know, we know a little bit about you and, and your love for Ed Camps, we just want to know more. So here's the deal. We will ask you three questions and we are going to just play this interview game where you give your answer in 30 seconds for every question. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. So question number one, why Ed Camps, Nicole? Well, I'm an avid learner, like a serial learner. Um, I just love to like soak up information, um, curate it, file it away, figure out how I can share it and how I can use it. And so EdCamp allows me to just meet with other educators who mm -hmm. like to learn and share and do that in a really friendly, low key um, environment. And you plan a lot of these all the time. Is that correct? Um, I've had quite a few. I've, I've helped with quite a few, quite, quite a few. Um, I love it. It's just such a great relaxed way to meet new people. Um, I even have, I have one of my three children, my youngest son, he loves a camps because he can share also. Awesome. So next question is why Flipgrid? We know you use Flipgrid with a lot of your ed camps. Why? So one of the big things I love about Ed Camp is like the informal meeting and conversations that happen like before you get started and in between sessions. And so I knew we were having a virtual Ed Camp and that was the piece that was missing. Like how do people say hi and hug and high five and get to know each other? And I just thought, why not Flipgrid? Because you can go on there and introduce yourself and have conversations, kind of hop in and out of conversations. It was just like a no-brainer to think of a tool that would allow people to connect and collaborate and conversate. Awesome. I love that it sort of expands the room to, to the whole world and you can connect virtually anywhere. Right. Okay, Nicole, so the last question, as you think about this experience and what you've done with ed camps and supporting them through the the platform of flipgrid what surprised you or what surprises you about the experiences that you've had i think what surprised me is that so many people still want to connect like people are still i think that's the one thing we miss most i kind of got that day is just having the time to collaborate and meet and discuss with other educators so even virtually like the spirit of ed camp and openly sharing and connecting, like you could feel that in each and every session um, throughout the Ed Camp. So that was a big surprise. Oh my gosh, I love that. That goes right along with the mindset of being better together, no matter where you are. Nicole, we love hearing your insights. We love seeing your happy smile. And thank you for everything you're doing to empower every voice in your community and beyond. Oh, I'm loving it. Thank you. <laughs> this this quote right here that Anne dropped in the Facebook chat, everything I am has come from someone else investing in me. And like it just like that's that's what it's all about. That's the the better together mentality. I love this. I Absolutely. love it. And, and we saw lots of people. So I know for myself professionally, Ed Camp changed everything, like literally everything. And we've seen so many comments coming through as people are like, I've never Carrie said, I've never left an ed camp dissatisfied, which just is really incredible. Um, we've seen some awesome ones. Kyle Hamstra just put on ed camp remote learning. Um, there's been a ton all over. And so, oh, that's funny. I didn't remember this slide was coming up. <laughs> Speaking of which, check, oh, pointed the wrong way. Check out this <laughs> blog post. Um, Angela read up this beautiful piece about what a virtual ed camp looks like. 
Yes. Yeah, so many, so many ideas. Jess mentioned just head on over to the blog and it's in the um, the most recent May newsletter too. So blog.flipgrid.com slash newsletter and you can find it right there. Um, celebrating the incredible ways that we can host and continue our own professional learning using Flipgrid. So I know one of the things we all talked about, Adam, bring everybody's video back. We talked about there's a brand new grid community type in Flipgrid yeah. called the Educator Learning Community. So if you're using Flipgrid with your own professional learning network or other educators, the teachers on your team, or you are curious about how would I use Flipgrid to set up my own ed camp, since you're working with those adult learners, definitely use that grid called Educator Learner Community. And folks just pop in with their Microsoft or Gmail address, and it's a super simple way to have a public grid open for other educators to contribute to. Yes. All right. Are we ready to keep going? Oh my God, do we have another yeah. wheel? In the wheel. In that wheel. Oh. <laughs> oh. What's cool is I actually just saw someone share this too. I wrote it down. Jenny Boren, or no, Terry Mitchell shared that she was using Flipgrid for her first grade for birthdays. But we got the amazing opportunity to talk to Melissa Fallen, who we saw this tweet um, come out. It just hit me, birthdays. Students have to have birthdays during all of this. So she used Flipgrid in order to communicate with her students. So let's check out the video. Hey everybody, we are talking with Melissa Fallen, third grade teacher and ed tech extraordinaire from Virginia Beach, Virginia. And Melissa, we, we saw that tweet you put out about those special days, milestone moments, birthdays. And it was so impactful. And we just kind of wanted to ask you like, what was going on in your head when you came up with this thought? Right, so we had spent so much time figuring out how as teachers we were going to manage everything from home and virtual learning. And then for a moment, I just had to stop and I was reflecting on, so what is this going to be for an eight-year-old? You know, what are they going to miss? Because it may be a little bit different from where I am stressing about what I'm going to miss. So really, birthdays is so big for them and they won't be there with their friends. They won't get those messages and cards that we make in class. So it's just trying to think through, well, how can we still make this special even though now we're not together? Yeah. That's so special. And I'm sure that that's so meaningful for them that you're still making sure that the birthdays are celebrated. And Melissa, what made you think Flipgrid? Why use Flipgrid for these celebrations? We'd use Flipgrid a couple of times in class, and of course, they they love it. It's intuitive. It's simple for them to use, and I wanted it to be personal. I wanted their face there. I wanted them to have some creative options, and so I just felt like that would be a way that I could put it there so that it's asynchronous. You can log in at any point when you have a moment and just leave a little message. So. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad you brought up the point about being asynchronous because students can share their birthday message anytime and anywhere. So I want to know, like, what surprised you about this experience that you shared with your students? Their excitement for it. Well, I knew they'd be happy to get some messages, but, you know, just to see the creativity and the excitement, the creativity and the messages where they were doing video editing things that I didn't know they knew how to do in there yet. And then... Um, just, you know, one student went in and gave a personal thank you to every single person that had left her message. Um, another one, we were on a call, the, in the, a live call previously in the week, and he reminded me, don't forget, it's my birthday coming up, because he wanted his sweet messages from his friends. Um, and then my ability to expand beyond our classroom. So giving that flip code to, grid code to um, administrators, other teachers they'd had in the past, and just being able to connect with people that I knew they would have stopped in with in the building that day. Oh what my up? gosh, you just said that word to connect and the power of a smile and continuing celebrations and these special moments like birthdays, especially while we're apart. What a creative, an awesome way to continue that in your community and oh it just warms my heart to hear these stories about um about your community and your classroom beyond four walls of a classroom but also how cool that those kids created in ways that you didn't even know they knew how to yet so 
That's so cool. Well, thank you so much for sharing this and also for tweeting out this epic idea that went viral and so many folks are like, hey, we can do a birthday grid too and celebrate all these moments. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it. Um, we just, I, I had the opportunity to participate in two, three, I, I've done a number of birthday inspired by this and, and fellow ideas. Mm -hmm. Jornay, do you want to talk about your daughter's birthday? Oh yeah, so real quick, um, Kamal just mentioned birthdays are so important. And so for my 10 year old uh, who turned 10 April 23rd, um, she was away from school and she really wanted to go to Jazz Fest this year for her birthday. So. Couldn't make that happen because of COVID-19, but we were able to share out a grid code and we had family, friends, and even musicians that would have been playing at Jazz Fest participate right on her grid and it made her day. I and I was going to share, I did, I did it for my mom and to see like all of these responses come in from family and friends around the world. My mom said she just cried happy tears all day long. So she's in California, I'm in Florida and it was such a special way even though I work for Flipgrid, I use it all the time, but this was so personal for my own family. It was so special. So let's show like really fast. Let's just show how would you go about setting up the birthday topic without the, you know, how do you make it a surprise? What do you do? Jornay, do you want to talk about what you did? Oh yeah, so I just created a grid um, that was just called my birthday grid and I created a topic for my daughter, Sherry. So my goal is the next birthday we need to celebrate, I'm just gonna add a new topic there. And people will already have that grid code, my family and friends. Um, and then they just go on and leave their special message some of them even used um, the awesome stickers that are inside of Flipgrid or imported their own special video or message, which makes these birthday um, grids just so unique and special. And, you know, those students or children can access those at any time. So if they need that little pick me up or they want to see that video again, oh my goodness, it's right there. And I think everyone else also loves interacting and seeing who knows, you know, your special child. So um, definitely check out uh, different ways to use birthday grids. And I'm sure you can find a topic inside of the Disco Library too. Yeah, um, absolutely. And one thing that I did was um, I shared the, the guest code with folks. So it was a way for folks to very um, quickly and easily get onto my grid. And I just invited them to that one topic. Definitely share the birthday grid. They can go back memory lane and see all the birthdays you celebrated or share the flip code to that brand new topic. Oh my gosh, Jornay, um, the grid that you made for Sherry with all of your friends coming on with the playing the music. And I know they, they came and played from afar because you couldn't be together in close proximity. It was so special. And this idea that, that Melissa tweeted out, this was back in March when all of this distance learning was, was you know, just getting started. And so, this was so inspiring and so impactful as a way to continue the celebration. And as a former first grade teacher, I know no matter what age you are, celebrating a birthday is a special moment, um, but especially for even younger scholars to see a smile, to hear that happy birthday song. Oh, it just warms our hearts. So Melissa, thank you so much for sharing this epic, epic idea. All right, shall we spin? Yes, yeah. I, I love that. Sorry. <laughs> That's you. This is fun. Goodbye messages. This one is so great. It's so this, great. Just tell us what's going on. Yeah, so we saw this tweet by Samantha Stubb talking about recording goodbye messages for each one of her students. And so what's really special about this is she was actually a student teacher and was able to say goodbye to the students that she didn't get to see. Um, by this way. So let's watch the video. It's pretty incredible. Hi, everyone. We are here with Samantha Staub, a high school ELA teacher. And Samantha, we saw this incredible tweet of you recording goodbye messages for your students. Can you tell us a little bit about what prompted that? Yeah, so I was actually student teaching and I had about a month and a half with my students before we switched completely online. And so my student teaching experience was coming to an end and I wanted to say goodbye to each and every one of my students in a special individualized way. Um, and I wanted to do it in a safe way given the circumstances. And so I chose Flipgrid to record little personalized messages for each of my students so I could say my goodbye to them. So that actually rolls into our second question. I think that is phenomenal. Um, so, 
There's so many ed tech tools out there. So why did you choose Flipgrid to be um, this platform to share those special messages with your students? Yeah, so I chose Flipgrid. Um, I had a little bit of experience with it, not too much, but I knew from my experience that it was really easy. Um, it was very user friendly and it, it enabled me to kind of record all my messages in the same place. So a concern of mine was I want to do something special for each of my students, but I don't want to have to save 65 different little video clips on my on my computer and try to figure out how to send them out to all these different email addresses. Um, so I like Flipgrid because I was able to just do three different class periods and record all their messages on there and have their name on the screen so they could all click the same link and easily view their own message. That's beautiful. Great idea. You know, it's such a such a fun visual with the names on the grid, yeah. the way that you created it. Oh my gosh, what a cool experience. Um, we're just curious, like what was maybe something that surprised you about about this experience? Yeah, so I think what surprised me the most was uh, the feedback and responses I got from my students. Um, so even weeks after I was finished student teaching, I had them reaching out to me saying, you know, oh my gosh, I cried when I watched your video, or I can't stop watching mine, I wish I could download it and keep it forever, and that kind of thing. Um, and they were also able to check out their other classmates' videos as well, because, you know, I talked about some favorite memories I had with each student and maybe their strengths as a learner. And so they were able to go and actually, if they wanted to, view my message about other classmates and kind of see, hey, they're awesome in these different ways as well. So that was definitely an impactful experience for me. That's so cool. What an, what an, what a, I mean, it's just super special in a very unique way to have those last moments. And um, especially as a way that you as a student teacher have, have wrapped up that placement experience with, with your school community. Um, and we know you're moving into your first teaching role. So we yep. want to say Congratulations, that's so cool. Thank you so and, much. <laughs> yeah, we're so glad that you're connected and part of the Flipgrid community, but definitely we're a better together mindset. So this whole, I mean, anybody who's watching, folks and friends on Twitter, we're all here to support and celebrate you. So we hope you have an incredible first year as a teacher. Thank yeah. you so much, I really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thanks for spending some time with us. You're welcome, thank you. How awesome is that? Right? I love it. Oh my goodness. I mean, I'm thinking back to my student teaching experience and like that was just like the best ever. And for Samantha to take that idea, I'm sure so many other student teachers or teachers are going to use her idea to just bring those special messages to the students at the end of the year. Yeah, there's a great comment in here from Stacy Pellerin that says, this works having students share goodbye messages each other with their classmates too. So what a special way, even while we're apart, to just have those personalized messages. And um, I love that this is a brand new teacher in this community who shared an incredible idea that can be personalized in so many ways. I love it, I love it. Love. All right, should we stand? <gasps> the wheel. What comes next? Oh. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh it looks like it looks what? like some issues. Is it going on? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> so we've seen so many incredible tweets happening of just all different ways that people can celebrate. And I actually have been keeping track in the notes too of things that I've been seeing people mention. So Kate Mills talked about doing a talent show with her students. Jennifer Mahan did a wave out for the for the seniors. So different ways that they can share memories and say goodbye to each other. Jenny Boren said she did a virtual back, backyard camp out and they oh had God. s'mores contests and all these different things. What's the best looking meal that you can create over the campfire? And our coworker and friend Cindy um, actually said that she's been documenting her daughter's first year of life so that she could send um, the videos to, to different family members around the world. How incredible. That's oh so my cool. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I just, <laughs> thanks for sharing my comment, Adam. So many other ideas. <laughs> <laughs> and well, hey, Natalie Quinn posted Flipgrid has so many possibilities. And she talked about sharing with high school students who might have um, intellectual disabilities and how it provides a pathway for them to share. But the comment of so many possibilities, and we love to say, Jordan loves to say, if you can think it, you can Flipgrid it. Yeah. So the cool thing is, 
This is a celebration and it's a celebration of you all and this incredible community and what you share on social because it's the heart and hustle that you bring to the teaching profession and whether your classroom is in four walls in a building or your classroom is open up to the world in this remote learning situation, you have shared epic ideas and it blows our mind every single day from year end memories to birthday grids to ed camps oh my gosh to decision day to the student voice games to oh my gosh i'm missing one where is it i'm looking at all the pictures ed um, camp. Ed camp. <laughs> oh my gosh i got them all i'm, I'm just overwhelmed. <laughs> i'm overwhelmed with like just gratitude for every single thing that you all are doing to continue the celebration because having that connection to your community just it fills not only our hearts but as humans it fills our hearts because as mike smith says you can't cancel community so thank you for doing what you're doing to celebrate all the things and using flipgrid to celebrate all the things. <laughs> All the things. Um, okay. Hey, George. Oh, the is back. Surprise, George. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> I think we have just a few more celebrations to discuss in addition to these comments. So thank you all again for contributing and being part of this broadcast event um, and sharing your ideas. We have some more upcoming fun adventures. Um, I'm going to quick quickly click through a couple of these remote learning resources, aka.ms slash Flipgrid remote, um, social emotional learning topics in the Disco library. We didn't really touch on this, but everything about Flipgrid, right, is social emotional learning because you're learning with your community, discussing more than just um, your education. And so, so many awesome things. You can check out some topics there. Um, the certificate, a couple of people have asked, celebrate today's webinar with a certificate. And once again, we'll email out this link, but if you go there, aka.ms, forward slash Flipgrid certificate. You'll get a certificate for today's webinar. But enough about that. Okay, EdTech Trivia Night, also super fun. Another fun celebration coming up. But the big, big, big celebration that I'm click, click, clicking to get to is Flipgrid Live. And Jornay, <laughs> what's Flipgrid Live? I'm like already excited. I have my flamingo ready to go. Um, <laughs> Flipgrid Live is the most epic celebration of you all, educators who are out there just doing the best work that you can do with um, our students and making sure that they are future ready and that they are comfortable, confident, um, you know, just citizens of our world. And um, thank you for all that you do to empower every voice. So on this night, we will not only celebrate educators, but celebrate all the ideas that you guys share with us daily on social media and emails, et cetera, to make Flipgrid even better and make it accessible for all. So. Um, I can't wait. I, I'm, it's so hard for me to contain like all the goodness that will come through on Flipgrid Live, but I will not give any secrets, okay? So you have to <laughs> it. don't ask me there. No secrets, but we will give, how about a little preview? Ooh, oh, yeah. Unless. Okay. your future that is my why. It is my great honor to recognize educators for the Amplify Award. So tonight, we're really excited to launch new tools for that camera. Drag those segments around, you can trim them. It's Jen Sardin mode. Wonder up Flipgrid AR. Wow. I can't okay. wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. We have so fun, fun, fun times ahead. Surprises, special guests, announcements, awards. What else? Oh, Celebrations. Okay. Celebrations. Celebrations. Um, okay. Well, I, I hate to cut us off, but the celebration continues over on yeah. Twitter. Well, on hey, Twitter. Hey, the celebration is continuing on Twitter. If you've never participated in a Twitter chat, just be sure to include that hashtag Flipgrid for all, and it will link your tweets into the discussion. So the party is going to continue. We're going to roll on, get connected uh, across all the social, but 
uh, on my clock, it's 3.58 p.m., 2.58 p.m. Central. So that means in two minutes, the party's over on Twitter. And let me just add, if you're watching this in the future, once again, hello from the past. Um, check out that hashtag anytime. In addition to seeing all the incredible ideas that we're about to discuss, um, you can always find amazing ideas by just searching hashtag Flipgrid for all. And thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone, once again, for all your just renowned, incredible, brilliant work. Thank you so much. Hey, Adam, before you go, quick question. If folks tuned in for this, where do they find that certificate? It will be emailed out to you, otherwise, aka.ms forward slash Flipgrid certificate. But stay on the lookout after the chat. I'll send it over to your email. Oh, my gosh. Thanks, oh, friends. It's so great to see you. And the comments from around the world. Thank you for tuning in. Bye, everybody.